The Berlin Moscow Axis is a thing that nobody does. Is it pointless? Is it mindlessly broken? Is it easy to defeat? Ah, that's the real question. Let's find out. If you watch a lot of my videos, you'll see I play the United Kingdom quite often. And you think to yourself, hmm, I wonder why. Well, maybe it's baked into me. Maybe Britishness flows through my veins. However, am I really British? There's only one way to find out, and that's with a DNA test. Today's sponsor is my heritage. The kit is super easy. Unbox the kit, activate online, swab the left cheek and then the right, pop in the vials, send it back, results in four to six weeks. Easy. Are you ready to explore your ethnicity? <sighs> Here we go. David, you are 62.9% English. Unusual, I know. 37.1% Scandinavian. So those are the geographic locations of people that share the same DNA as me. Well, there we go, guys. That explains why I have map games built into my blood. Stockholm is covered. It's kind of a little bit outside of the zone, but it is technically Scandinavia. So now we can click view ethnicity estimate. Here it gives a breakdown of the genetic groups, Scandinavian and UK and Ireland. And then it gives a further breakdown of West Midlands, Northeastern England, 13 England, which will give you a breakdown here of what that actually translates to. And if we dig even deeper, we've got England, West Midlands, and it gives you like a breakdown of that ethnicity distributed around the world during, well, in this case, different timelines. British Empire spreading. You can actually map out the spread of the British Empire. British Empire and then not British Empire. With millions of users and billions of records, my heritage DNA is by far the leading source for DNA testing and family history and mapping in in Europe. Discover your origins across 42 supported ethnicities and over 2,000 geographic regions. Are you worried about your privacy? You don't want your genetic data to fall into the hands of multinational corporations or foreign governments? Well, MyHeritageDNA is committed in its privacy policy to never sell or license your genetic data. You are the sole owner of your DNA data. Do you like history? Not only does MyHeritage help you unlock your DNA, here you can use your DNA results with other people's kits and build an extensive family tree. Maybe even find new relatives. So what do you have to lose? Check out the link in the description and use this coupon code on screen to get a free shipping on a DNA kit. And as an added bonus just for you, you can sign up for 30 day free trial of MyHeritage's best subscription to get access to billions of records and resources to build your own family tree. Go to the link in the description or the pinned comment and check out what my heritage has to offer. Do it. Console command. FA. That's right. Instant national focuses. Rhineland. Oh, wait, we don't need Rhineland. But it's nice to do Rhineland because that means we're going to go down the uh, the right path. Army innovations. Treaty with the USSR. The Molotov Ribbentrop pack. We need to have a bigger army overall. In that case, we'll convert the entirety of our army to motorized. Why not add a few more divisions on as well? You know, just a few. Boom. Make the guns. All the guns. Make the divisions. All the divisions. Pump them out. Deploy. 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 Convert all the divisions to motorize. Not enough. More. 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 There we go. 850. We can do the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Boom. Done. And here's is the focus we actually want. Alliance with the USSR. This will disband the Axis and create the Berlin-Moscow faction. If the Soviets accept this offer, we will suffer some loss of stability due to this change of policy. Needless to say, our fellow fascists and democratic powers will also be very upset. So basically, everyone gets upset. Apart from the Soviet Union, who loves us. Are we fascist? Are we communist? I guess somewhere in between. Oh no, we're centrist. The worst. Boom. And there we go. The Berlin-Moscow Axis. It feels so strange, the fact that we don't even border each other. Anyway, it has been done. And there we go. Soviet German friendship. The German Reich and the Soviet Union have united in friendship against the decadent West. Well, not just the West. I mean, everyone, right? I know you guys are going to be saying, oh, Dave, you cheated. Oh, you cheated. That's right. We're not actually going to play as Germany. We're going to defeat Germany as the little Italy. Why not celebrate the very last time of playing Italy before the new focus tree? By playing Italy on the old focus tree. Oh, look at this focus tree. Look at this. This is the focus tree we deserve. Why did anyone want to rework this? This is perfection. Look at this. Oof. Ooh, we've got Italy first and oof, Italian highways. Ooh, yeah, yeah. That's what I want. Well, Italy's going to be very different after the expansion. Let's see if we could defeat the Berlin-Moscow Axis. Here we go. A little bit of flamer, a little bit of construction and production, and artillery is always a win, right? Do we get to grind one of our crappy generals? Something I always really like to do. We'll go for you. And a field marshal. Attack off you go. What? There's war coming, you don't say? Well, I better get the economy rolling, right? Level two. Man, he's learning fast. More. Hey, a new front line. Here we go. So he's got organized now, and he's an infantry 
infantry leader. So we might as well just switch him out for somebody else. Defensive boyo? Yeah, you'll do. This is the beautiful thing about the Ethiopian Italian War. You get to grind all your generals early. Who can complain about that, right? And then you retreat back to here. There you go. So run away. Off you go, lads. Let the Ethiopians come forward and then uh, attack again. Rinse and repeat. Yep, this is what they used to do in MP. Uh, it is unbelievably broken, uh, but it works. So what can I say? Round two. Ding, ding. Pro tip. Don't let them take the capital. If they take the capital, the war ends and we want to grind these babies. Last stand? Perfect. Make it last longer. Ah, a new friend at the other side of the continent. The United Kingdom. Give us a little bit of rubber. Right, I'm going to create an agency because I need to know what Germany's up to. Oh no, we're winning. We don't want that. That's right. Go back to that fallback line I just created. Back. Probably the very last time I'm going to be able to do this, so let's give it a shot. Democratic reformer. Can you remember the old way of changing ideology? <laughs> You just hire the advisor and then you wait. The old and the very exploitative method. Oh God, look at this. I turned the AI off for the first few months and uh, oh God. Oh man, what happened? Alrighty then. So we have two generals now. They both got organizer and infantry leader for the win. In this case, let's end this war now. We send a volunteer to the Spanish Civil War and grind a little bit more air XP. I spy with my little eye. Something's happening in Brandenburg. Boop. Done. Capitulation. Volunteers. Spain. Send volunteers. Send air volunteers. And how many can we send? 150. That'll do. We will bury them. Oh, look at all the air XP. The United States has sent volunteers to the Nationalists. Wow, I only had AI turned off for like three months and it's really made a pig's ear of this game. Strap yourself in, boys. There's going to be a lot of surprises. Alrighty, boy. So this guy, promote to Field Marshal. Boom. And you know what's coming. The wizard. Here he is. Supply, no longer a problem. Democratic opposition is forming. It starts. The National Fastisha. Fast, fast, fist, fist. Fascism. Ah, fascism O has opposition. Oh no, Mussolini. Exploit a little bit of Cass. Yeah, sure. Battlefield support. Die bombing. And then make myself a juicy fine piece of Cass. Attack. Range. Engine. Anarchists gain more land than the nationalists. Hang on a second. Is there a flag forming here? What can I see? Okay, I'm going to send two divisions to Spain. And this allows us to go down this focus path that no one ever does. Support the nationalist Spain, which gives a tiny bit of relations. You're probably thinking, why are you doing this, day? That's a dumb focus. It doesn't give you anything. Oh, you'll see. Boom. And then, after the war's ended, demand the Balearic Islands. Oh yeah, I realize that they actually have to win to go for this. Odds aren't likely. Public calls for elections. This is one of the generic events you get once you've got the democratic reformer. Which gives you more democracy, but then cooks your political power. Nasha Spain has declared on Spain. Oh, the Carlos have rose up. Uh, making the chance of uh, the Nationalists winning even less. And I can't even send them volunteers anymore because they don't have an airport. Carlos, too strong. Oh, well, I'm back. And I've suddenly changed sides. I love monarchies now. These African focuses actually feel pretty worthwhile right now. Gain a little bit of oil and infrastructure and oil again and refineries in Libya. Who's my enemies in Africa right now? No one. Damn, demographic Italy, too strong. And we have an Anschluss. Germany has expanded. The Berlin-Moscow axis has expanded. Oh, we have allies. Allies everywhere. Oh my goodness. Switzerland, Czechoslovakia, Romania, Belgium, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Denmark, Sweden. Okay, so we've clearly broken our neutrality. Wow, it's not looking good for Germany. Ah, I see. The Swedes, as well as the Canadians, love the monarchists in Spain. I guess they're both constitutional monarchies, so I guess it kind of makes sense. Kind of historical game. Kind of, kind of. All right, I'm so committed for them to win. I'm going to send you some guns as well. There will be trouble ahead. Have some volunteers, China. You deserve it. Cass, off we go. A thousand airwing size to uh, manipulate the combat width and begin the bombings. It's actually better to be in the middle of the air zone to get the better coverage. Yeah, there we go. At the same time, going for centralized control to give more air coverage and air efficiency. 100%. That's what I want to see. So even though we lack actual range, centralized control still pushes up to 100%. How are they controlling outside their range? I don't even know. I don't even know. All right, we've got some XP. We've got Engineer 2 now. Begin the flame boy. 
There we go. You've seen me make this before. This is the meta of a uh, flame tank. Heavy flame tank. Perfection. Boom. Make these. Pump those babies out. Go here. And now we desperately need mills. Our economy isn't very good. So we have to stay on civvies a little bit longer. I spy my little Germany. What are you doing? Our oh, unknown focus. Okay. We do know they've done Anschluss. They've not done Deban Sudan. And they're working on their industry. The more you know. Hey, it's a historical game. The Junta has arrived. And they're mad strong. Big bush. One thing you find about flame tanks is they use a lot of fuel. Yeah, I know tanks use a lot of fuel, but flame tanks use even more fuel. Think about it. Their ammunition is fuel. So logistics reduce fuel usage. Essential for this strategy. And then there were two. Germany has declared war on Czechoslovakia. And we have World War II in 1938. Uh, kind of. And they've all joined. Oh my goodness. The hook box. If this was a multiplayer game, the allies have already broken all the rules. It's kind of scary that they're uh, going to go through Switzerland. And if they take out France as well, that means I'm going to be completely surrounded from the west and northwards. Then again, probably not. It's not looking too good. <laughs> please join the faction, please. Excuse me. It's not called the Rome-Berlin-Moscow axis. It's just Berlin-Moscow axis. So uh, I'm going to take an L on that one. Air warfare. Boom. Back to air crew surveys. And then, then you just blast through the doctrines. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my goodness, we're over halfway through the air focus tree. It's just that easy, boys. Carlos have joined the Allies. The Allies have entered the struggle. Oh, and here we go. So, Germany's job is to survive. The Soviets' job is to make a big impact by funneling into Romania and then through the highway of Czechoslovakia. Let's see how that goes. The ultimate embarrassment. Lithuania refuses to give up Memel. Of all the demands to make when you're in this situation, eh? Of all the demands to make. Germany playing real life Enzig, just waiting for the Soviets to arrive. Oh god, that corridor is so narrow. Oof. Big oof. I really don't think Germany's gonna survive this. Tache, we need some XP desperately. You like doctrines? I like doctrines too. Done. The Soviet Union has assumed leadership in the Berlin Moscow axis. I think this is the first time I've ever seen the AI do this. A referendum! The fascists have been overthrown. Democracy in Italy. Republican Italy. That's right. The fascist party's out. The monarchy's out. Just straight to a republic. And now we have uh, uh, Einstein running the country. Wait a minute. That ain't right. So now when we befriend Yugoslavia, we're actually pushing them towards democracy. Yeah, why not? Something a little bit different. Democracy. What are the benefits? Uh, uh, relief of command is pretty good, but we need the XP, so we can't spend that. And also, we get uh, local autonomy as well. So why not? The colonies, they now love us. Let's see if this flavor text is right. Italian foreign office in Yugoslavia. Rather than confronting Yugoslavia over Italian populations on the Dalmatian coast, Republican Italy has announced the establishment of a permanent diplomatic mission to Yugoslavia. Tensions across Europe can only hope more countries take this approach. Ugh, maybe not. We can still do Albanian occupation. <laughs> why not? Maybe it'd be like Anschluss. Maybe it'd be like a referendum. Join Italy. Romania, rip! A brand new cast. And it's maxed out on day one. Albania yields. Next up, befriend Bulgaria. You know, it's it's really nice that PDX thought about this. If you change your ideology, this will boost your ideology that you currently have at home. That's pretty cool attention to detail, right? <laughs> Oops, what happened here? Oh, the cast damage is just too much. Oh my God, it's 40, 35, 34, 40, 52. Okay, so there's a bit of a bug at the moment that if you have one air wing that's incredibly large, it goes beyond the combat width of air. That's right, there's a restriction of how many planes can do a mission at one time. But if you make one air wing that's incredibly big like this one, the amount of damage you'll do is disproportionate. AK, you're doing a lot of damage, all right? That's a lot of damage. Another focus power that nobody does. Italy first creates an Italian faction. Why would you ever want to do this? I have no idea. Germany. Rip. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, oh dear of me. Peace in China for now. The situation has escalated. Oof. Poland breakthrough. The big red menace has arrived. Is it time for me to uh, save the day? Oh, I can't because world tension isn't high enough. So I have to wait for the world to burn to therefore rebuild it. Yep. 
Almost 1941 and France still has to show in government. Not looking good. And that's the big rip. So the Soviet Union has capitulated France, but still created Vichy France. And it's still kind of technically a puppet of Germany. I feel like the Soviets did all the work here and uh, took none of the glory. Humble Stalin. Join the Allies, regretfully. And there goes Switzerland. There goes my last buffer to the north. German Reich is justifying against us. Uh, why? All right, lads. Frontline, here we go. Plowing into Sweden like it's nothing. Like real life. <laughs> this is the worst timeline. All right, the production's up and uh, we're making a lot of everything. We're gonna sort out our train shortage, sort out our gun shortage, and then we will join the war. Ooh, man, this is not looking good. A few forts, maybe? Yeah, just a few. Hang on a second. Train shortage? Wow, I guess Mussolini did make the trains run on time. Lol. Turkish request light tanks. I have never seen this before. I get two civilian factories off map. <laughs> Why not? Alrighty then, we ready? Uh, not really. Okay, some more forts. Just one more layer of forts. I promise this is it. I promise. Japan has declared war on Yugoslavia. Why? <laughs> They're making my life a nightmare now. Uh, okay, join the war. Let's go. You going to attack me? No? Yes? No? Exercise the troops? No, there are just way too many divisions on this front line and the AI's like, nah, I'll pass on that one. But I won't pass on Cast 3. Meanwhile, Hungary just sitting there. Hungary, the new Switzerland. All the other nations have names for their railway gun. Italy, on the other hand, no name. No focus tree. Mussolini, sad. Italian, rework. When? Launch the logistic strikes. Do some decent damage. Also shooting down quite a few fighters as well. Cass, too strong. And ace spam, too strong. Commie's trying to just join the Berlin-Moscow axis and then got capitulated. All right, supplies are getting really bad here. Is this an opportunity for a boo? I don't know. Let's just wait a little bit longer to get these guys exercised to level three. I don't think it's time to make a push. Liberate Switzerland. I don't think I've ever said that before in a Hoy game. Yeah, let's do that. Oh no, Hungary is justifying Romania. Breaking the five years of neutrality of Hungary. History. All right then, go, go, go. Off you go, lads. Oh man, the railway gun's doing so much damage. And the cast tearing them up. And there goes our fuel. I blinked and I lost... The entirety of all my fuel. United States, fill me up. I can officially say at this point, I've become the most laziest Hoi 4 player, which I just cannot be bothered to micro. And I just make one division that goes across the entire front line. The thing I told you guys never to do. Yeah, this is the division. It's a very chonky boy. So many tank divisions without tanks in them. The classic AI meta. Oh, then again, 3,000 mediums. Oh, it starts now, lads. We're in the end game now. The second capitulation of Germany. Italian fleet in the Baltic. Oh, wow. This is definitely an old history game. Germany in exile in Gotland. I see you, Mr. Hitler. No, I really do see you. Go, go, go. Gotland. And we got them. Casting them to death. Short bombardment. Making our life an absolute nightmare. Can you just uh, surrender, please? Oh, look at all those negative modifiers. Encircled. Enemy air superiority. Experienced. Short bombardment. Wrecked. What does the ultimate flame tag look like? Pretty much like this. 261 armor. <laughs> yeah, 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 son. And we go. <laughs> now that's a juicy big font. You can't disagree. This is a work of art. Ignore the reliability. You love this video? Well, this one, you're going to love even more.